here with Fast Lane. We're here in our clean room looking at the new 5 liter and some of the specific engine components, what we like and don't like about it. So we're here talking about what we like with the new 5.0. Um, this is a motor that's fresh off the assembly line. Just got, our, got it in our hands. Um, got it ripped apart and uh, starting with the front and down deep into the guts of the 5 liter uh, this is really neat. It's got oil squirters for the piston to keep the pistons cool. Cuts down on detonation, uh, adds the longevity of the motor. So we really like that. A motor that's similar uh, that we've done a lot of work with that has oil squirters is the 6.2 liter LSA motor which comes in the CTSV. So we like that a lot. Also looking at this cute little rod here this is a obviously a 5 liter rod. Um, it's got 12 point rod bolts, average size. Now this is interesting. We've got a bush small rod end that's channeled for oil flow, which is really cool. Um, you know that's going to obviously reduce friction in the piston and um, also obviously increase longevity. So we like that a lot. Um, we've also got here. Uh, this is one of the side bolts for the main caps. Nice and beefy, very thick, uh, good looking piece. Uh, main bolts, same thing, pretty much standard uh, modular fare, but uh, what's important is that it is six bolt blocked. Now, now we're looking at the five liter piston. Um, neat looking piece, we haven't seen this from Ford in a while. First of all, you notice the dome with the four valve reliefs. It's got 470-ish low lift. Um, so they've done this obviously to increase the compression, but it's a neat looking piston. Uh, factory coating on both sides. Something else that we noticed with the 5.0, this is windage tray slash oil pan gasket. Um, kind of a neat piece combining two lightweight once again, everything in the motor seems to be also designed to keep the weight down. Moving on to the crankshaft, um, eight bolt piece. These have been very good in your Cobras, Terminators, uh, Shelby's. So uh, don't see anything wrong with that here. So we're looking at the head. Obviously it's a 32 valve cylinder head, uh, similar to the Terminators and whatnot. Um, intake port testing. Our numbers showed to be very comparable with Ford's, um, so it's it's mean. Uh, some of the things that we liked about it, uh, this is the roller follower. It has a, a captured lifter in the follower, which obviously uh, makes for a, a better RPMing motor, uh, more stable at higher RPM. Valve springs, nothing special, standard modular Ford fare. You've got your variable cam timing cam gears here. Um, Interesting design. Once again, nothing extra special about them. Uh, overall, nice cylinder head, nasty piece. We're going to take this thing, we're going to dissect it, we're going to change the springs, we're going to regrind the cams, we're going to part the heads and make it even better. With the good comes the bad, so now we're looking at some of the things that we don't like about the new mod motor. Uh, starting first and foremost with block casting quality. One of the big concerns uh, was down here below the oil pan rail we've got raw casting and, and the material is very rough and if you can see where my, my, my fingers are here and you see the roughness of this casting it, you, can, you can actually scrape material off of the casting you can almost do it with your finger. It's the front one of the front galleys, the oil galleys. Um, we're also going to go in and deburr this. You can see it's actually got a casting number inside the orifice. So, for deburring tool. You're going to need one of these to build one of these motors. The Mustang is a true tuner's car. Simple bolt-ons responds well. The tuning is there for it, which is great. The parts are available. They're cheap. So, this is a car that's ready to modify. It responds well. It's on 50-60 horsepower gains at the rear wheels with simple bolt-ons. As it compares to the other tuner cars, Challenger and Camaro, it holds its own. You know, it's going to be a real battle. So we're going to move on 
through our Tarbell kit next and see what happens.